myself sudhakar barbade assistant professor electronics and telecommunication engineering walchand institute of technology solapur today we will discuss programmable logic controllers and in that we will discuss bottle filling plant and how we can uh, draw a ladder diagram for it learning outcome at the end of this session students will be able to describe ladder diagram of bottle filling plant contents first we will see the overall uh, bottle filling plant block diagram and how it works and then later uh, later we will uh, implement uh, the ladder diagram for the given bottle filling plant operations if you look at the bottle filling plant Uh, let us first study what this bottle filling plant and how the things are automated uh, bottles to be filled are moving on a conveyor belt run by the motor m the motor m rotates in a clockwise direction as shown here and see the conveyor belt rotates from left to right and the empty bottles are to be filled and when they get filled when they come under when the bottle empty bottle come under the output wall which is attached to the overhead tank this is a overhead tank which, uh, which consist of a liquid which is to be filled in a bottle by using this wall so this wall can be opened and closed based on uh, whether the bottle is filled completely or not if it is filled completely that is sensed by this limit switch 1 and if the bottle gets filled this limit switch 1 gets activated and we close this output wall so that the liquid Uh, may not go get waste so this is about filling and once it is filled then again motor is rotated and in cl uh, clockwise direction till the next empty bottle comes above this position switch this is a position switch as it is a limit switch so when bottle takes position Uh, under this output wall this limit switch gets activated and uh, this is used as a sensor which can which is used to control the operation of this motor so this motor e gets stopped when the new uh, empty bottle comes above this uh, position switch so this way the bottle gets filled with the liquid which is in a tank by this opening of wall and this wall is also closed at appropriate time that is when this bottle gets filled this ls1 is activated so this is about the bottle filling using this tank and output wall the other thing available in bottle filling plant is this tank may get empty so to avoid that there is a inlet wall inlet wall here and there is a inlet coming from and which is used to fill this tank so here the flow is adjusted such a that whenever you open the wall for 5 minutes and when the tank was empty uh, within 5 minutes it gets filled completely so that uh, empty uh, ta uh, tank is uh, sensed by using this limit switch 2 named as ls2 so when this uh, tank gets empty this is activated which opens the wall and 
the tank gets filled but this for filling this tank it requires we are, we are assuming here it requires 5 minutes and after 5 minutes automatically this wall gets closed so this is what about the filling of a tank and this is uh, about the filling of the bottles so this is what the operation of bottle filling plant now let us see one by one how we can implement it using the ladder diagram so this is a ladder diagram that means uh, just uh, uh, steps given here for implementing ladder diagram for bottle filling plant so this is a plc ladder diagram for bottle filling plant so here we have different six steps or as already we discussed uh, uh, there are different steps so what is the first step just to look at open the input wall if the tank is empty as we saw earlier here when ps2 uh, sorry ls2 is uh, dete detects the tank is empty the input wall is made on so open the wall input wall if the tank is empty then close the input wall after 5 minutes so this uh, 5 minutes we are assum assumption here for drawing a block diagram uh, sorry ladder diagram so here what we are uh, assumption or our assumption is uh, once the empty the empty tank gets completely filled within 5 minutes when op uh, input wall is open okay that is our what assumption then third step is start motor m once the tank is full now the uh, bottle filling is a process uh, we have to start by rotating motor m see this motor m so that empty uh, bottles may come under this uh, output wall then stop motor m when ps is true ps means position switch that means when bottle uh, 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 that means comes uh, above this ps uh, that is sensed by this sensor and the motor is stopped by using this sensor okay. then open the output wall so here is the output wall this one is the output wall once uh, this bottle comes uh, above this ps now this bottle is ready to fill this output wall is made open and uh, this will remain open till the bottle gets filled and when the bottle gets filled this is sensed by limit switch 1. So open the output wall and close the output wall when bottle is full. How this is sensed? The, it is sensed by bottle is full is sensed by this limit switch 1. So this is these are the steps. Now here uh, there is a question: How many steps might exist to fill the bottle filling plant in general? That means six steps already uh, given to you, but broadly, how many operations need to be done to uh, in a bottle filling plant you pause the video and answer the question so the answer for this uh, question is here one is there are two steps here actually one is filling of the uh, overhead tank and another is a filling of a bottle so in uh, that means four major steps are two only one is a filling of a overhead tank and filling of the bottle and for filling the overhead tank there are again uh, sub steps are there filling a bottle also there are sub steps but uh, that means uh, uh, major steps are only two so this is what the answer of the question now let us see the ladder diagram for our bottle filling plant and as we saw just now 
there are only two tasks. That is, task one is to fill the overhead tank and task two is fill the bottle. And here we finish. So here, uh, ladder diagram, ladder diagram, uh, step one, <coughs> what we are doing, doing is overhead tank filling. Okay. In that, what we are doing is LS2 becomes on when tank is empty and also it starts timer TR. Why timer TR? Because after 5 minutes, this uh, tank gets full and automatically this uh, uh, motor, oh, sorry, wall is closed because tank gets full. Okay. So here, uh, this is a push button 1 to start the motor. This is push button 2 to stop the uh, motor. And here, uh, we, if you see, this uh, is a uh, control relay 1. Okay. This is used as for latching and this is a CR1. Okay. So this CR1 gets latched when push button 1 is pressed, which is normally open and this is normally closed. So as soon as we push this button, CR1 is, gets energized and once it is energized, uh, this is connected in parallel with this normally open, so it remains energized. So when it is uh, remains energized and tank is empty, and tank is empty, empty, tank is empty, uh, this uh, <coughs> uh, wall here, if you look at here, CR1, uh, that means um, uh, system is started, tank is empty and timer is not started, then input wall is opened to fill the tank. So input wall becomes open for 5 minutes. Then task 2 is filling the uh, bottle. So when uh, here, if again look at this is a CR1, this is a bottle, if it is full or not, it is identified by uh, LS1 and this is uh, again identified by PS. So full is true when PS is true and LS1 is also true. That means bottle is in position and uh, uh, that is indicated by PS and bottle is full that is indicated by ls1 okay motor m will move when bottle is full or ps is false correct so motor will start when either bottle is full or bottle is not in a position so motor m will move when bottle is full or ps is false means bottle is not in a position so that is uh, shown here, uh, this is a uh, not in position, then motor is started or not in a, uh, not a full. Then last here, the rung is output wall opens, output wall opens when PS is true and full is false and LS1 is also false. So here, this bottle just I will go back, just I will go back. This bottle gets full when this PS is true. This wall will be open when PS is true. This LS1 is false. Okay. So the bottle should be in position and it, it should not be full. So input wall becomes open for uh, not this one, just wait. Output wall uh, opens when PS is true and full is false and LS1 is also false. So this way we complete our bottle filling plant uh, ladder diagram. References, uh, textbook named as Programmable Logic Controllers by John Webb and Ronald Reyes, PHI Publications, 5th edition. Thank you. Thank you very much.